Hey everyone, it's Kirk here again at Option Alpha. I am super excited for this one because I think you all are gonna really enjoy this and it's gonna be highlighting one of the new things that we're releasing in the next version rolling out this coming Saturday and that is basically expanded and more detailed and interconnected logs. So we've heard from all of our traders like you and you guys are using your bots and you're using your bots to do all kinds of crazy things and all of the, those activities are going into your bot logs. And we think bot logs are super important because they give you clarity, right? There's no black box, there's no not wondering what a bot is doing or how it's working. Everything can be visually seen and you can check and verify everything inside of your bot logs. But we also heard from you that you wanted to know even more details in the bot logs. You wanted some ways to quickly and visually see what happened in the logs without actually clicking into the logs and seeing the actual decisions and flipping through everything. So we really took a lot of that to heart and reformatted the logs to make them a lot more interconnected and to help you get to different areas a lot faster so you can find out exactly what scanner took what action, if a scanner did take an action and it opened a position, go right to that position and kind of interconnect all of these things with your bot log. So let me show you kind of a quick preview of what you're gonna see in the new build. Okay, so here inside of your logs, you can see I have the logs here for a very simple recurring iron condor bot. And now you can see inside the logs, not only can you do the regular filters like you're used to doing, but you can also see some additional info on what happened inside of this particular automation. So here inside of this monitor automation, you can see that this particular automation run had nine decisions and used one loop. Now you could see this if you just clicked inside of the actual log itself and you can count up all these decisions, but we basically did the heavy lifting for you and gave you some more information on the outside of the log itself. So this little info box here shows some additional info. And for most of the time here, you, you can see for this reoccurring iron condor, it's just in a monitoring state. But anytime that you go back to some of your logs where the bots are taking additional actions, here you can see that the bots are taking additional actions. We made it really clear and present inside of the logs that certain actions were taken as a result of this automation running. So for example, this Iron Condor scanner opened one position, had four decisions, and had one loop of, posi of potential positions or tickers. Here you can see that this reoccurring monitor automation closed a position. And here it opened a position, here this one closed a position. So again, without even clicking into the logs now, you can see which ones are taking action. Now this is really helpful because you all have said to us before, hey, we wanna know which automation triggered an open or close, or which automation run did that. So now we put that right here into the actual logs for you. If you actually click into any of these logs, you can actually click and see which automation was triggered for this log. And you can right here from the logs, go immediately to that automation and start to make edits if you want to, and then come back and save it, and you're still in the same place. So if you see something in the logs and you think you wanna make an edit to it, and we've heard this from everyone trading here at Option Alpha that sometimes they wanna make little quick adjustments or you know tweaks to their automations, well, now we've given you basically an easy link right into that same automation, you make your adjustments inside the automation editor, go ahead and save those adjustments and you're right back here. Now you can also see that we've also connected the positions to any open or closed position action. This is also a really big one that everyone's asked for, which is that if the automation opened a position or closed a position, why not give us a button to actually view the position? So that's what we did. We gave you a button to just slide out the actual position so you can see that position in real time and you can see where that position is here without having to go digging for it inside of your bot. We think that these adjustments and tweaks to your automation editor and to your logs are really gonna help out when it comes to you know digging through and understanding what the bots are doing and what actions were taken as a result of different automations that were run or different scanners and monitors inside of your bot. So as always, we really hope you guys enjoy these new updates that we're pushing to the platform. We're always trying to solve new problems for you, make trading a lot easier for you, and we would love to hear your feedback on this. Until next time, happy trading.